Before we start, uh, I would like to introduce Mr. Satyajit Nath uh, to the audience so that we understand who we have among us. Uh, so Mr. Satyajit uh, uh, did his engineering from NIT Raoultula back in 2003 and has been working in this healthcare and IT industry for the last uh, 20 years. And he has uh, worked across the spectrum, meaning he's uh, starting from being a technology consultant to becoming an architect and then um, handling large-scale digital transformation projects and uh, being currently at uh, the uh, is currently the director at cap Chennai. he has also worked uh, not just for the it companies working for healthcare uh, businesses but he has worked uh, in etna uh, which is a leading insurance company in the us yeah, and he worked in the us for four years and uh, he has worked in applications starting from the legacy applications back in 2003 5 when uh, mainframes were there, and start, starting from that point till all the digital transformation journey leading to uh, new age technologies that we have now. So, Mr. Satyajit, we are extremely delighted to have you on board as an advisor member in the, the healthcare advisory board. Plus, we are also excited uh, to, to you know, have this engagement where we understand your thoughts in the industry and how things are. So I would like to thank you for both the reasons. First, being agreeing to be part of the board, and second, for sparing some time for this discussion. Welcome, welcome to the board. Absolutely. Thank you, Atma, for having me on this board and looking forward to share my experience, looking forward to share what I have seen in the industry, what I have seen change in the industry, and hopefully this can be helpful to the students who join this course and want to pursue a career in healthcare and hospital management. So looking forward to this course and contribute and see how it helps uh, the people who join this. Yeah, definitely the students would, stand, uh, would gain from uh, having you on the advisory board. We also as a group would be, would be gaining a lot from your uh, you know, industry knowledge and uh, it would help us in designing courses which are more effective, more aligned with what the industry needs. Uh, okay, to start with, uh, with your uh, rich experience, we would like to know uh, two things. One is, what do you think uh, about the near-term perspective in terms of where the industry is headed and what are the skills and future uh, career options? And in the long term as well, someone who wants to build a career in healthcare and IT, what would be the right way of doing things? Or what are the career uh, future uh, prospects you see, not only abroad, but in India as well, if you can share a sort of a... Uh, broader context and let's help us understand that would be great absolutely i think uh, we all know healthcare has been one of the most important pillars in our in, in our industry right i mean all of us know the need of hospitals all of us know the need of quality care providers but somehow the technology aspect of healthcare companies has not been as mature as it is in a retail space or in other spaces they have technically been lagging behind in terms of technology that's what i have seen in, in my entire years of experience but COVID-19 acted as a forcing function for the healthcare industry. And it is forcing the companies, not just the providers, but also the insurance players to future-proof their technology state and enable resilient business models by focusing on digital themes. Themes like automation, IoT, mobility, uh, data and analytics, security and cloud. Now, these themes such as peer provider collaboration, population health management, uh, interoperability, value-based care, uh, member patient engagement. These are things which are driving the demand for digital ad adoption among all these companies. Now, as this demand grows, it also impacts the IT providers, companies who service this, uh, these uh, providers like Infosys and Cognizance of the world, where there is a significant increase in demand of IT professionals who understand the healthcare ecosystem. I was reading a report by the Everest Group, one of the leading uh, you know, providers of these reports, they give an insight on the adoption of digital technologies across the healthcare space. Uh, they talk about four key areas. Uh, first one is pa patient engagement. Second one is care management. Third one is diagnostic treatment and monitoring. And the fourth one is about the financial and the network management. If you look at the past, patient engagement and to some extent care management were the only things that people in health industry were focused on. But over time, diagnostics and the financial part has also come in. So the whole intent has now shifted from just looking at the health of a person to looking at the overall holistic picture, the bigger picture, and how the healthcare and the hospital providers can help the patient. Uh, basically, through cost and efficiency improvement, 
the adoption of value based models personalization and changing consumer expectations has pushed pushed across a need for adopting digital technology if you look at the overall growth and i'm talking only the us market because i could not find the numbers for india market the us market itself only for the digital services is worth about 5 billion dollars and as per the report it's expected to grow at a cagr of 8.7% between 2021 to 25 that's a tremendous growth and we need to have the right set of people to capitalize on this growth and give the benefit across to the the providers and the payers equally now if i look at india india is also seeing a significant growth in this area of late uh, the scheme by our our prime minister uh, which is ayushman bharat bharat Uh, this is a scheme that provides a unified health interface a mobile app for personal health reports and a lot more basically the intent is to streamline healthcare and bring it into the digital forte uh, it takes a lot of adjustment people are not going to go and upload their health records on this cloud they are not going to go ahead and do all of this on a sudden but these are things which will slowly get acquainted if you look at upi there was a time when people used to carry bundles of cash in their pockets now is a time when my daughter tells my father in law use mobile phone like my papa it's easy that is the change upi has brought in and i'm of healthcare is bound to happen in india and we need the right set of people who have the right skill set to capitalize on it if you look at the numbers from india standpoint though i could not find the total ones i could see that 2% of our india gdp is currently dedicated to healthcare spend and if you look at advanced countries like europe or us you will see it is about 8 to 10% so there is still a lot of gap and i'm sure government is pushing to bridge the gap as the gap gets bridged people will have to adapt people will have to change and that's when we need to expand and see how the new horizons bring into us if you take a very small example i was talking about i'm talking about one of the uh, scenarios where i went to a doctor for my daughter uh, ideally they would ask me to carry a huge file with all the historical things that you know i had been to this time this doctor asked me uh, put all the points on an ipad he wrote it on an ipad printed it and gave it to me when i went for the next time i could see whatever he had written was on his computer and he could easily read it look at the history and then give us the right set of medications now this is a change that is slowly happening this is one hospital adopting it now there are a lot of things that we can do not just reading writing and storing the paper but also using technologies like ocr to scan it and make it automated using technologies to kind of read the understanding of the doctor and map it to the codes right so that automation claims automation of processing can be done lot of things can be done and i see a huge growth in this area that our government is focused on it is not just india it is across the globe so as an industry covid was the pivotal moment and things are changing since that day people have started to treat their health better they're looking at the pre things rather than post things so i think it's a huge opportunity and uh, we should be looking at growth in the healthcare sector and trying to leverage our skill set to be part of this growth right right that is a really a great uh, summary of the prospects that there exist for especially you elaborated more on the hospital side i guess the same uh, opportunities exist in the insurance sector as well given that they are uh, tightly oh absolutely uh, coupled together and that would also provide a lot of uh, opportunities for it professionals in the sense that those who have a technical background and want to be experts in a healthcare industry per se they they would have a, a really great future going forward given this huge amount of work that is expected to come not this from the us but india side as well right so so right. like i was saying uh, the example of what i told about the person writing on an ipad printing it and saving it digitally it is right. not something that a doctor can do it's it's an it professional who has the ability to do that and as providers as insurance company try to scale up and improve this efficiencies in the system they would need more and more people on the it side people who just do not understand it but they also understand the healthcare side of things it right. is yeah. not about writing code it is about solving a business problem so we obviously need people who understand the problem and have the idea have the knowledge to solve the problem 
once that has been done, the IT team will obviously write the code, write the programs to do it. There is an absolutely huge, huge line of business that is going to grow on the IT side of things where we can leverage on this growth in healthcare. So I see a huge demand on the IT professional side as well, where this will also catalyze. Yeah, that's, uh, you put it very rightly when you said that which, uh, IT is more about, not just about uh, programming, but it's about solving business problems. And that's where you're understanding the domain and the industry is extremely important. So a program like an MBA in healthcare for IT people would be very ideal uh, given the, the need that it has. Uh, wow. Great, uh, uh, great, great insights. Uh, and uh, just uh, quickly coming to the next uh, question that I had in mind is to understand, uh, uh, see the, the, the major, the normal trend we have now is that people go for an MBA, which is, uh, which is mostly designed on functional lines. Like people are either marketing experts or finance or, uh, and the other types. Uh, but uh, as you mentioned that, you know, there is a need to have people who are more industry oriented, meaning we have uh, skills which are industry focused. Maybe I'm an MBA in energy sector, or I'm an MBA in healthcare. Uh, what value do you see in such specialized degrees? Is it really restricting your future growth or does it really expand my my career prospects if I uh, uh, specialize in a particular industry vis-a-vis doing it in, say, a general MBA where I can say I'm a major in marketing and then I can work in any industry per se versus saying that I'm a uh, healthcare expert. And uh, so what do you see uh, the, the in terms of career growth prospects? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, the way you ask the question, uh, when I look at a marketing guy or a finance guy, uh, obviously he or she might think I have an opportunity to go any any industry or any field, which is right. He or she can join any field, any industry. But if you look at an experienced person, somebody who has been in, in an industry for five years or seven years, you typically see that this person wants to specialize in one area and then build on it. Obviously, as we gain experience, people try to focus on one domain, one area and build an expertise on it. The way I look at the healthcare program is basically giving you that opportunity in advance. People might look at it as it is narrowing my opportunity. I look at it in an alternate way. Uh, anyway, you are going to focus on one of the opportunities and build on it. It is giving you the opportunity from the very beginning. It is getting you industry ready from the very beginning. Somebody who does a finance MBA or a marketing MBA joins a healthcare company, gains healthcare knowledge over time. But you are an expert, you will be an expert of healthcare coming out of the college and then joining the industry and then using that experience to, <clears throat> sorry, to build on it. Now in this, if you look at the overall growth, the points that I was talking about, there are a lot of key digital adoption drivers for the healthcare companies. Things, think of things like cost efficiency. Think of care management and delivery. Think about patient experience. Think about rising consumerism in the industry. Telehealth is one of the big things that has come up post COVID. Virtual care, remote patient monitoring, and all of these things. Uh, optimizing the access to healthcare. So if you look at these key problems that the industry is facing and trying to solve, it is not just a single degree or a single technology that can solve it. You need to have an expand in all these areas, a hold in all these areas, and most, most importantly, core knowledge of the industry to be able to solve them. Uh, if you look at a simple example, right? Uh, if you look at Shark Tank, uh, Shark Tank India that is running right now, a lot of healthcare focused companies have come up with uh, a solution for that. Uh, if you look at one of the examples I was seeing, there is a company which has come up with a kit uh, where they can do IUI at home. It's a company that has invented an add-on item on stethoscope through which you can do digital monitoring of your stethoscope from a remote place. Now, these are problems which are solved because this person faced the problem. A random problem, random person cannot go and do innovation. There's a very powerful saying in innovation, which we call Gemba or go and see. Innovation is not something that happens in an AC cubicle where somebody says, you know what, let's innovate. Innovation happens when people go to the root level, understand the problem, and then they try to solve the problem. In the same way, when a person comes out of a MBA program of healthcare and management, he or she understands the knowledge of the area, he then right. goes and works in an industry, be it IT as a business analyst, be it a hospital as, as a member, be it one of the pharmacy or any of the providers. He comes with a lot of knowledge 
and that knowledge along with the work that he or she sees on the ground leads to all these innovations so i think it is not how people think it is not that specialized skills are not important industry does need specialized skill and people do gain the expertise over time to add the value in the current right. state somebody who is doing this particular course will come up with the industry knowledge and he or she will also be conversant with technology and a mixture of these two is what leads to the advantages that he or she can bring in to the company that he finds so i believe it is not a limiting thing for this course or somebody joining this course that i am restricting my options uh, to answer that question fairly well there are a lot of options in healthcare if you're looking and thinking i am doing a healthcare mba i will not get a job in a non healthcare company maybe my answer would be you don't need to look out for a job in a non healthcare company it is an area that continues to grow it is an area where there is a lot of demand and absolutely you come with a lot of skill set which is applicable for you and you can use that skill set in your company on day one so that is the advantage that such a course brings in over a generic mba i'm not saying generic mba is bad but i think the way the structure of the course is the way the course has been designed it does add a lot of value and i think people who have that skill set who have that knowledge and want to serve the people should absolutely opt for this excellent uh, that hey excellent insights especially uh, for someone who is interested in healthcare as an industry and then uh, wants to really build on it um, um, in fact you put it all in a very precise concise way. all the uh, great options there are and and you also touched about upon something which is really exciting is that someone who also wants to be an entrepreneur there is a huge set of potential opportunities out there meaning with the absolutely uh, past technology knowledge or the the course also has some technology component to it and then the domain expertise would would help people come up with innovative products which are uh, which are really needed in the market so that's uh, really uh, great insights thanks uh, absolutely yeah so uh, given this uh, i would come to the uh, to the last question of this discussion last because it uh, it's really exciting talking to you but i understand you are hard pressed for time and uh, we need to wind it up so uh, given the uh, you have had a look at the design of the healthcare program that i am both guy has launched uh, which will be starting this uh, academic year uh, what are your thoughts on the program how is it designed is it really um, catering to all the uh, all the aspects that you touched upon uh, any thoughts your thoughts on the program um and uh, you have been advising us on how to design and uh, be a design an effective course but still i would want to learn no more about your opinion on the same if you can please share your thoughts that would be great sure sure i think one of the most uh, thought thought through process in terms of designing a course that's what i saw when this course was designed uh the two tracks of specialization one on hospital management and one on healthcare management this does give the opportunity for the students to decide which track they want to focus on and to add it up the advantage of having this extended immersion of almost 4 months where they get the real hands on experience uh, i always focus on hands on experience because unless you have that experience you are always you uh, know maybe that we call 10000 feet deep, and you are not living on the ground of the students have the idea have the option of choosing the one they want to take and get the experience the community project is also one of the great initiatives where students will be able to interact with people in urban areas or semi urban areas and maybe possibly rural areas to understand the public health related issues and how this public health schemes that government is running are they really doing the right value so these are things which i don't think are normal in any course but i think this is well designed it does add this additional angle which gives that additional benefit to the student of how he or she can go ahead and help the student help, help the people uh, it also focuses not only on the healthcare delivery side but also on other aspects uh, there are courses around financial management operational management uh, sustainable development practices product and quality management healthcare is is not just focused to somebody going to a doctor and getting a fix it is about advising the person empathizing with the person helping the person in the in terms of finances managing the hospital in such a way that the patients get a seamless experience adapting technology i think all those angles which are really the need of the industry have been built into this course 
uh, obviously yes. industry professionals uh, we are all helping build the course and hopefully we'll be able to take some courses and as we do the advantage that the people will get is they will also get the side of things and not just the theoretical so with the extended immersion the community project and industry professionals uh, a person who is coming out of this course is not just theoretically ready but to some extent practically ready to attempt and uh, you know be a better person in the industry so he is more industry ready if you can call it that way uh, career opportunities are immense we touched upon it in our discussion it is not only hospital or the associated firms like labs or pharmacies it is also in consulting companies and it companies also on the product side like ge who are building healthcare products there are a lot of opportunities for them people coming out of this course can pick up uh, to address your point where you know is this course limiting i see it's actually a lot enriching they can be a management consultant in an it company or they can be a product manager for a company like ge which is building healthcare products they can also get into market research understand where the industry is going they can join a gartner or a forester uh, they can be business development executives and managers for large pharma companies and they can run the business they can be a subject matter expert and work on running programs for large it companies as well i think there is a lot of opportunity and the way this course is designed it it gives the skill set to the people that they need to come and be better in this industry so i think uh, it's one of the better designed courses that i have seen and i'm looking forward to this course to start and succeed and give the help that people need to succeed in their career as well great uh, thank you thank you for the kind words about the design that we have done and uh, you're right actually it has uh, a lot of elements which are required to to de develop a more holistic uh, skill set so that people are ready to take on the industry. absolutely and uh, great uh, we hope everything works out great and we really appreciate your uh, you agreeing to be part of this journey and being on the advisory board helping us out and for this discussion as well Absolutely. thank you thank you looking so forward much. to looking forward to a lot of munna bhai mbbs coming out of this course <laughs> and <laughs> giving those jadu ki jappis to the people helping the world uh, and uh, helping them heal so looking uh, forward to this course great 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 uh, thank you thank you mr thank you. thank you so much for your time have a great day thank you too have a good day bye thank you yeah bye